Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you the right way of using the motion presets in flash flow. Let me click on uh, create new action script 3 file, right? Um, after which uh, people what I need to do is I need to adjust the, the size for the stage as 600 by let's say 100, right? At the same time let me change the stage color to a pound sign triple three triple three, cool and then I'm gonna add my first bit of text so let me hit the text tool uh, the font is Vivaldi the size is 40 this is the color let me embed the font let me choose all let me say okay the font is now embedded so even if somebody doesn't uh, have the same font it's absolutely alright have a look out here the text is classic and static let me click out here a little away from the stage let me type the word Adobe okay uh, let me make sure that it's quite close to the stage like this and then let me open up the alliance panel and make let me make sure that it's aligned vertically in the center cool and uh, after that I'm gonna use the motion presets this tutorial is uh, all about uh, the best technique of using the motion presets and then uh, there are a lot of uh, motion presets people I'm gonna choose uh, fly and blur left let me say apply all right I'm going to use the 15 50 15 formula so for the first 15 frames people we have the word Adobe flying in and uh, it loses the blur on the 15th frame I'm going to open up the Alliance uh, panel and I'm going to also want to make sure that it's aligned uh, horizontally in the center which it is now cool I'm going to add 50 to 15 that makes it 65 on the 65th frame I'm going to right click I'm going to say insert keyframe and then say all all right let me go to the 65th frame cool let me add 15 to 65 that makes it 80 let me go to the 80th frame let me right click let me say insert keyframe and say all on the 80th uh, keyframe people I'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to make sure that I drag the word Adobe outside the stage just outside like this cool okay after which uh, I'm gonna duplicate layer number one right click and say duplicate layers I'm gonna repeat that same process once again right click duplicate layers right now uh, I'm gonna make sure that the playhead is on the 15th frame uh, <coughs> I'm gonna lock the bottommost layer and the topmost layer and make them invisible as well for the middle layer people I'm gonna hit the text tool like so I'm gonna change the word Adobe to the word flash just delete and replace it with flash okay I'm gonna lock and make the middle layer invisible open up the top layer like so right I'm gonna change the word Adobe this time to the word professional P R O F E S S I O N A L right I hope the spelling is fine cool uh, let me make all the layers visible and let me unlock all of them as well okay let me select the middle layer let me drag it and leave it where, uh, on frame number 81 right similarly I'm gonna click on the top layer okay drag it and leave it on frame number 161 okay 80 plus 80 is 160 cool I'm actually sorted I'm actually done let me hit control enter to test Adobe flash professional and we we'll loop back to the word Adobe once again so you see how easy it is to use the motion presets but only if you know it you see these things are very simple uh, <laughs> But again, uh, you should know how to use them. Right, guys? Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial and hope to see you keep, uh, you know, coming back for more. You have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.